By the end of this video, you will be able to make your Roblox game R6 using Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So let's say you're working on a game in Roblox Studio, and when you test run your game, you notice that when your avatar is spawned, that you move as an R15. So you can see right now this avatar has 15 different parts, so it moves more smoothly. So let's say you would like to change that to R6. This is very easy to do. You can go make sure you stop your gameplay. The first thing that you need to do is make sure that your game is published to Roblox. If you need to do that, go over to File and then click on Publish to Roblox As if you haven't done that before. Or you can press Publish to Roblox. It, it'll take you through the prompts that you need to publish your game. If you're still unsure on how to do this, I'll put a link to another video that I created that shows you how to publish your game to Roblox. Now you'll want to make sure that you click on the Home tab. And with your game published to Roblox, you'll have an option for game settings. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And now this is going to bring me up to the settings for my game. Then you're going to want to click on Avatar. You'll see for the avatar type that this game is currently configured for an R15 avatar. So now all I need to do is click on R6. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on Save. It'll bring up a message saying that this, by changing the setting, it will shut down any instance of the game. So if you don't want to do that at this moment, you can save this for another time when maybe people aren't playing your game. But I'm going to go ahead and press Yes. And so now, whenever I go up to Home and I click on Play, you're going to notice that I'm now an R6 character. And you can see the difference in how I move. So that is the easiest way to enable R6 avatars within your Roblox game. If you've made it this far into the video, you might also be interested in the exact differences between an R6 and an R15 avatar. I made another video that covers this in detail. I'll put a link to it here. 